Uh, hey guys, this is Mac Heads 101 and today I'm going to be showing you another one of those cool but pointless tricks you can do with your Mac. So, um, okay, so um, today I'm going to be showing you how to control your Mac with your Wii. So first thing you want to do is you're going to want to have a Wii controller and um, you're going to want to have a Mac and you're also going to want to have this program um, or application and I'll have a link to download in the description of the video. So, um, first thing is you want it to find your Wii controller. So I'm just going to hold the power button on my Wii controller. So now the lights are flashing. So now, um, while the lights are flashing, you want to hold the 1 and 2 button and click Find Mode. It's not that complicated. So just, so lights are flashing. I'm gonna, just going to say Find Mode. And do that. Ah, the lights weren't flashing. If you do it properly, you'll get this chart. Now, what this chart is, hold on, let me just zoom there, as you can see. Okay, this chart, right now I'm not touching anything. Touching nothing at all. And, um, you see, when I shake it, the chart moves. And when I, when I just, um, hold it still, you'll see the chart move still. Now, basically, the way the Wii works is... Like for baseball, you're gonna have to go like that and stuff like that. And so, um, the way it works is it works the same way as the iPhone. As many of you happy iPhone people know, um, the iPhone has an accelerometer built in, so it knows which way you hold it. Well, the same way things work with the Wii and the Wii nunchuck and a whole bunch of other great things that work like that it has an accelerometer to know which way you hold it. So this knows if I hold it towards the left, you'll see one of them move or towards the right, if I point it up, you'll see one of them move, and it's just a great invention that I don't know who made. So, um, to control your Mac, first off, you're going to go to Darwin Remote, top left-hand corner, and go into Preferences. And you're going to want the A key, the A as in this thing right there, to be, um, left-click, the standard left-click, not left-click to to or right click. Okay. And then you can just press OK. And now if well first you have to have it control mode. So if you say um mouse mode on then um now if I get this working properly. There we go. If I move this eh. Oh, oh yeah. Mouse mode on means um, the buttons control the buttons. Mouse mode in motion means that you can control it too. So just bring it into. Sorry, I got confused there. Mouse mode in motion, and you can just go up, find a window. You can click A to hold it, and you can just drag it around. So um, in case you're not that good at it, I'll explain how it works. Um, point up goes up. Point down, goes down. Point left, the mouse goes left. Point right, the mouse goes right. And if you put your thing down, it's going to go down. Like, because it's not pointed up. And it's just going to want to stick there, and it's going to open your Dreamweaver, which you didn't ask it to do. So, let's just quit our Dreamweaver. Also, another cool trick. Um, Look at the chart. I'll zoom in there for you. Actually, I won't, because... Um, it's, it'll be messed up, because I have the mouse in this. So, you'll see another chart should pop out. The chart is the nunchuck. The Wii nunchuck also has an accelerometer in it. That way you can do boxing on the Wii and all those fun games. So, um, if I shake them both, you'll see them both shake. If I just shake the right one, just one shakes. If I just shake the left one, left shakes. And you can... You can go into uh, preferences and set them all to what you want. Again, this is very pointless, but again, very cool. So, um, just mess around with your Wii and your Mac and, um, and subscribe. So, have a nice day and goodbye. Yeah.